I am inside the Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. Right now, we're right in front of Monkey Island, which we'll talk about that a little bit more coming up. But right now, joining me is Jim Anderson, Executive Director for Fort Wayne Children's Zoo. I got Good it right morning. this time. Yeah. Good morning. Thanks for joining us. So, real quick, let's talk about what's going on today. What can people sure. check out? Sure. Uh, today is the last day of our regular summer season. We've been doing this since April. We've hosted around 615,000 guests. So if any of your viewers were one of those people, thank you very much. We appreciate that. Uh, we close today at, at 5. Uh, we will reopen again right away next Friday. We're open three weekends for our Halloween event, Friday, Saturday, Sundays from 10 until 5. Uh, kind of a non-scary trick-or-treat experience for little kids. Some of the animals still out, some extra decorations, lots of fun. So you said it, a record year. What are your hopes for next year? So, like, right behind us, Michael, uh, we finish up Halloween uh, October 31st. November 1, fences start going up, uh, and this entire area behind us will be under construction for about the next 18 months. We will add an extra building to Monkey Island, completely change the way it looks out there, change the entry plaza, build a brand new uh, exhibit for river otters where the wallaby yard used to be. So. Uh, people love the zoo the way it is, but they also like to see us add new things and, and, and uh, bring things up to date, and, and that's what we'll be doing this winter. What are you most proud of from this season? Oh, my gosh. Well, our mission is, is to connect people and animals, right? We have 1,000 animals. This year we had 600,000 guests, and working that connection, uh, that's what we do. That is, that is why we're here to serve the community and provide a great experience for people. So uh, we're glad that so many people have come. We'll see another 3,000 today, I, I hope.